All right, Pisces, what is up? I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Today is August 15th. Welcome to the middle of the month. <laughs> all right. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. All right, this is for Pisces placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter. Hope you all had a great weekend. Let's get into this. What messages do you have? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, tone it down. The Rose. Romance is in the air, Pisces. It's a bedtime. Pisces. What's going on with the Pisces collective spirit? What's going up with my Pisces? Mid-August. <clears throat> Single jumping cards only, spirits. You know how I roll. All right. February could be dealing with an Aquarius. What else, spirit? Scissors. Disappointment in some affair. That came out uh, yesterday, I think. The sun card, happiness and well-being showing itself. It's with a few other cards. So, nest. An emotionally and emotionally secure loving family is important to you. Single cards, please. There could be a, a, a light-skinned or light complexion, light or just blonde hair or whatever, or gray hair who's having some type of sorrow, who's in some type of sadness that could be around you or it could be you. Let's see, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. The not, unsuccessful plans. Yo, every time I do a reading, I put these cards back all over in these decks. So the chances that these cards are coming out, this energy is still relevant. Um, hmm. oh, Pisces, thank you. The bow, oh, you are highly thought of. Bottom of the deck, we have the rainbow. So we got a bow and a rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over, okay? With the rainbow here. You could have been going through some type of temporary problems with the key and the clouds. It's like, they're, they're, whatever this is, it's gonna be fixed. It's gonna be brought back into balance. All right, so let's see. What is this romance in the air, please, for Pisces for August 15th? Mid-August 2022, please. What is this romance is in the air? I'm not feeling that dick. What is this romance in the air, please, for Pisces? I'm so red, y'all. Sometimes I wonder if sunscreen even works. Because I still end up like... Burnt. <laughs> Not really burnt, just a little bit. Alright. Romance is in the air. Sun card. Happiness. We did see that earlier. The pool. Could be dealing with fire sign. We got Leo Aries showing itself. Uh, there's some type of a new beginning that you're embarking on, new opportunities coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, there could be someone wanting to send you a message about having some type of new beginning, taking that leap of faith. Ten of Pentacles, this could be... Um, hmm. This could be someone in your family or someone you share a family with whom you've blocked or who you've had to stand your ground with who's wanting to send you a message about take, having some type of a new beginning. You could have been waiting on this person. This person may be at a distance. Again, I'm seeing Aries energy. This could be a father figure for some, not for all. Show me the romances in the air with the rose. Single cards only. <laughs> With justice and two of cups. All right. <laughs> the wheel of fortune on the bottom. So whoever I'm reading for, y'all, this isn't going to be for everybody. So if it's not for you, just keep your comments to yourself. This is the ones who are like, I feel like this could be a path. Maybe 
Let me see. Maybe not as past energy. It could be. But, uh, oh, the devil. Could be a Capricorn. Um, what is the devil? The hanging man. So, Man, Pisces, Cancer, Aries is out here. Ten of Cups. I feel like this is someone you have a family with, you share a family with, maybe someone you talked about having family with, or someone who may have a family of their own. I don't know, but I feel like you may have gotten clarity on some type of like toxic toxicities or like some type of like somebody here is stuck due to like hmm. Somebody's either gotten clarity or someone is feeling like stuck. Because of some type of addictions to sex, drugs, money, alcohol, gambling. But this person is coming in wanting to send you a message to have a new beginning. Some of the fool. I know that's not what you guys want to hear, but that's what the energy is saying. Two of swords in the reverse. Again, you've gotten clarity on this talk toxicity okay or this devil energy or this capricorn maybe if it's not that okay you see something clearly for what it is you no longer have the rose colored glasses on or somebody doesn't have rose colored glasses on you or somebody here is single stable good on their own independent doing financially well we did see that ten of cups i feel like whatever is coming in is your justice so this could be a new relationship that's coming in and it's your justice for dealing with okay so this could be a test coming in but i feel like you're going to pass it with flying colors because you you already know though you have two cards here about clarity this could even be toxic family that you've gotten clarity on Let's move on. Why is February here? Nine of Swords. Tell me more. Five of Swords reversed. You could have an Aquarius or somebody who was born in the month of February, maybe even a Pisces, who's like feeling anxious, worried, having sleepless nights because you're no longer fighting for them. You're no longer fighting. You're no longer arguing. You don't, you're not with the fucking mind games. Five of swords in the reverse. It's like, yeah. And this has somebody worried. Okay. Could be a Leo. The strength card, Knight of Wands. Someone here wants to rush in very passionately. This could be somebody who was holding back from you or you were holding back from because you may see somebody as a player. This person may have Aquarius or Leo in their chart. There's a lot of fire and air energy here. So I'm getting a fire with air or an air sign with fire in their chart. Show me disappointment, some affair, two of cups in the reverse and ace of swords. Shit, some type of relationship is over. And that's the motherfucking truth. This could have been a very strong soul tie, soul bond, your two of cups. But this is a relationship that's over. And that's causing some type of disappointment because someone's getting cut out, cut off. Again, with this Ace of Swords, it's like there's been some type of clarity, some type of a breakthrough. And the Ace of Swords can also be, talk about, you know, making that cut, cutting something out. Have a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, and the Magician reversed. Virgo Gemini. Somebody's magic is backfiring. That's why they're disappointed. That's why they're up in their head. You don't want to fight with them. Their mind games don't work on you. Like I was saying, you're holding back from this player-like energy. You're holding back from, you know, maybe even passion or sex or having like any, you're, okay. What is it, Knight of Wands? The Empress. Yeah, because you're the motherfucking Hoopers or Emperor, whatever. Somebody may see you as an empress. I feel like things are taking off very quickly for you, but it's because you're holding back from this type of energy. Somebody may also be doing air magic. 
you know, just speaking shit into existence. Low and hot air. I'm trying to, because we do have the magician reversed. Somebody here manipulated a, a relationship and someone's gotten clarity on that. Somebody manipulated a relationship and someone's gotten clarity on that. Hmm. Or someone manipulated something, you know, did magic over someone's relationship and uh, decided to cut, cut something out, cut something off. Crispy clean. Show me this nest. Judgment. Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and Judgment. You may find you may receive some type of message here of good news. Right down right. This could be about children as well. This could be a payout, some type of money that's owed to you, Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Someone here may also want to reconcile, ask for your forgiveness, have some type of equal give and take, and that could be the message of good news and emotionally securing, loving, loving family is important to you. Or you just call judgment on a situation, eight of swords. What is the eight of swords? Page of Cups. You could be dealing with someone who's younger. They're just kind of like childish or immature or like, uh, I'm not saying the right word that I want to say. Um, this could be someone who's grown, but they, um, they haven't grown up emotionally if that makes sense. And they're up in their head, they're worried, feeling stuck when it comes to like offering some type of expression of emotion. Sun card, Leo, Scorpio energy. So for some, somebody may also be feeling trapped due to like a pregnancy, maybe someone has a son or a child. Could be a fire sign or a water sign child. Show me unsuccessful plans. What, what is unsuccessful, the world card? The chariot could be travel. Maybe somebody's having like unsuccessful plans. Somebody's unable to travel. There's could be like distance here. Somebody may not have enough money, time, resources, or something to that nature. Somebody here may also be holding back. Someone may also be holding on to like a vehicle at a distance. I don't know what that means, but uh, anyway. Four of Pentacles, the chariot. The chariot could be a vehicle. The world is distance, right? Four of Pentacles. Something here is not going to be a success, though. Anyway, show me. Uh, you are highly thought of. Eee! The Emperor reversed. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. What in the actual fuck? Two of Pentacles. Somebody here could be juggling a family dynamic. Ace of Cups. Emperor Reverse. Fairies Energy. See my finger. It's doing that again. Anyway, show me the Emperor Reverse, please. So you may have this Aries or this per, who is it? Gosh, dang it. All right. Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. 
Fixed sign energy, Aries is here. I feel like you're blocking out somebody like, how do I say this? This is like, somebody's getting karma and they're going through a tower moment. Somebody here has lost control of the situation. You're blocking out something. Even though someone wants to have a brand new beginning in love with you. This is someone who could have juggled you. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. Star. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is hopeful that you'll like invest into this situation. This is someone who possibly abuses their power and their authority. Somebody here is thinking of you very highly. They want an Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, but what's the Two of Pentacles? The Hermit. Virgo. Aquarius. Where's the Hermit? Ten of Wands. Someone may be ghosting somebody, deciding to like drop something, turning their back on something. Like somebody is not. Somebody is like ghosting a situation, no longer seeing it as a positive movement forward. There's two situations here. Could even be two family dynamics. I don't know. Show me this emperor reversed. King of Cups. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this is someone who... Uh, hmm. The Moon Reverse. Three of Pentacles. There's some type of secret that came out about a third party. Poss yeah, Three of Cups. Queen of Cups. Or Baby Mama. Somebody here is finding out some type of truth or letting go of their fears. Wanting to come in and work together and collaborate, have some type of reconciliation, some type of celebration, possibly with you, Pisces. This could be a counterpart, but this could also be a masculine who is like abusing their power and their authority and you block this person. This person now wants to come in and offer their Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and I feel like they're ghosting. I'm asking what the Two of Pentacles is. They, they have hope that they can invest into a situation, and I feel like they're no longer seeing a future with a possible Virgo or an Aquarius. I don't know. But whatever that it is, they're dropping these burdens. Ten of Wands. So this is like someone who's changing directions. That may have been going back and forth between two families. They want to send you a message to have. Yeah, they want to send you a message to have some type of a new new beginning up here. But you already know the truth about a situation. Hence the moon in the reverse, two of swords in the reverse, the hangman. It's like you already know the truth. You've already gotten clarity. Somebody here may have toxic family or been dealing with toxic family members. Even toxic children could be here. All right. Show me this uh, devil. The tower could be a Scorpio. Something here is like being dismantled so that it could be built on stronger foundation. Page of Swords. There, we got all the pages out here, y'all. There's a lot of like children or a lot of childlike immaturity energy. Knight of Cups reverse. There's someone here who's jealous. Could be a younger air sign or a Scorpio. Seven of Cups. They're confused. Creating a lot of smoke and mirrors and that shit's blowing up in someone's face because someone was fucking toxic or someone's family was toxic. Don't shoot the messenger. It is what it is. And if it's not your story, then it's not your story. For those of you guys that this does resonate with, you'll be like, oh shit, I get it. But for those of you guys that like to comment and be like, my family ain't toxic, blah, 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 and blah, 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 and whatever you guys like to say, just don't spare yourself, please. Ain't nobody got time for it. Just trying to see if I'm missing anything. So Nine of Swords, somebody's worried because you don't want to fight. Somebody may have done, somebody may try to come in rushing in very passionately, but you're holding back from this person. 
focused on your abundance. There's some type of a relationship that's over because somebody manipulated a situation and now they're feeling disappointed. Or somebody's disappointed. I don't know who's disappointed, but someone's disappointed. Judgment was called on this situation. There's a message of good news coming in. Something here was unsuccessful and somebody here is up in their head, possibly about a pregnancy or about a son or my ear is ringing about getting some type of clarity about a pregnancy. Hmm. What is a son? Ten of swords reversed. This is something that may have happened in the past. Some type of a betrayal that happened in the past. Five of Wands, Temperance, Sag Energy, Seven of Swords, yeah, and Five of Wands. Someone here was lying, cheating, stealing, creating a bunch of drama. There was conflict with others, maybe with family, friends, coworkers, whoever the fuck. This to me seems like something that happened in the past, but somebody's worried about this coming to the light with the Sun card. Or maybe somebody wants to apologize for this. Deception, competition, conflict, this betrayal that happened in the past, possibly due to a third party. Yeah, definitely. This could have been a third party situation at work. Someone here was feeling like the man. <laughs> Six of Wands, King of Wands. <laughs> Somebody here was like feeling felt like hella victorious. Okay. Mm. Whipping and the pouring and the tears keep falling. Okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. So, um, this could be a past person coming back. I know you guys are so excited to hear that. But, uh, you have your own, uh, discernment. You have your own free will. Somebody here definitely manipulated a, a and it's almost seeing something else. Okay. Show me this Empress. What's up with her? You have an Empress in the upright and an Emperor in the reverse. I'm just saying. Four of Wands. So, so whoever this Empress is, this is someone who's very stable. All right. This could even be someone who's married. Nine of Cups, Pisces, it's you. Somebody's coming in to offer you something, Pisces. Do what you want, but uh, I feel like you're avoiding this situation because you already know the truth. Whatever this is, you already see it coming. You already know. And that's the worst part of it, is like when people do you dirty and they hide it from you, and you're forced to, you know, give yourself closure, find out your own answers, learn things, like go through all the pain and cycles and all they want to do is come back with a fucking apology. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, that took you two seconds while I sat in two years of, act, or however long, three years, 10 years, whatever, of pain and, and, and agony of having no closure and having to give myself closure and you want to come back with a fucking apology? Are you fucking for real? song that just came on is damn you're such a difficult little devil trying to put it back together <laughs> okay i don't know who this is for but uh... you know it's funny when like romance is in the air and you start moving on and finding people that treat you better and finding a better tribe of people letting go of people that hurt you and deceived you in your life. And then you have those same people want to come back into your energy. Like, Hey, how you been? You're looking really great. I'm glad that you survived that betrayal. I put you through. Um, you want to go out for lunch sometime? And you're like, the fuck? Did you just fall off a fucking truck or what? Just fall off the back of a truck, a turn up truck. That's what my parents, <laughs> that's what my dad used to always say. Yeah, karmic fucking relationship. Somebody may have left you for a karmic relationship and now they want to date you. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, damn, my karmic relationship didn't work out. But I think I might have learned a lesson. I don't know. Let me try again with you and she. Fuck that. I learned my karmic lesson and it does not involve you. 
<laughs> my future does not involve you. All right, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. What's you? And then we got camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make new memories. Did you learn from the past, Pisces? Are you going to make some new memories? Or do you want to repeat the old ones again and try and twist the narrative? Hmm. Let me think. What shall it be, Pisces? I'm going to leave it here. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.